Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look and see how we should take the square root of fractions or decimals. Now there are some tricks we can use and it do doesn't work for everything, but there's some neat tricks and so let's take a look at them. And to help us along, we have some square roots here in case we didn't know right at the top of our, of our head what some of those square roots are, just for reference. But let's say we're trying to take the square root of 4 over 9. Well, we can actually separate those square roots for the numerator and the denominator separately. So this can be written as the square root of 4 divided by the square root of 9. And of course, we know what the square root of 4 and 9 are. It's 2 and 3. But then how do you take the square root of a decimal? Well, it turns out we could turn it into a fraction. For example, 0.16. Well, that can be written as the square root of 16 divided by 100. And then, of course, the square root of 16 is equal to 4, and the square root of 100 is equal to 10, which is 4 divided by 10, which is 0 0.4. A quicker way to do that is to recognize it as follows. You realize that the square root of, point one, or the square root of 16 is equal to 4, so since we have the square root of 0 0.16, that is equal to, this, to 0 0.4. For example, the square root of 0 0.64, well, we know that the square root of 64 is equal to 8, so therefore the square root of 0.64 is equal to 0 0.8. Same over here, the square root of 0.25, well, we know that the square root of 25 is 5, so therefore the square root of 0.25 is equal to 0 0.5. So you can see that you can very quickly find the square root of decimals of familiar numbers like this. Or if you want to take the square root of this, you can say, well, that's equal to the square root of 36 divided by the square root of 49, which is equal to 6 divided by 7. Does it work for numbers like this? The answer is yes. Again, you could write this as the square root of 1024 divided by the square root of 10,000. And then you say, well, that's equal to 32 divided by 100 or 0 0.32. Or we could have directly gone to that number by realizing that the square root of 1024 is equal to 32 so the square root of 0 0.1024 is equal to 0.32. Same over here, the square root of 1444 is equal to 38, so this can then be written as 0 0.38. The square root of 0 0.913, uh, 0.1936, well, the square root of 1936 is 44, so this is 0 0.44. But now we have an example here where it's not going to work because if we write this as follows, this is equal to the square root of 729 divided by the square root of 10,000. Not 10,000, but 1,000. Well, the square root of 1,000 isn't a nice, neat number like 10 or 100 or 1,000, and so therefore that trick doesn't really work here. So what we need to do then instead is, well, grab our calculator and see what the answer is. But that is how it's done for some very familiar numbers like those.